Hello everyone, this is Humphrey Chung with Router Gods again, and in this video I'll show you how to use PuTTY, which is a terminal program, and use it within GNS3. So the default installation of GNS3 uses Telnet as its main uh, terminal program, and uh, unfortunately it's, it's kind of crappy, and in Windows Vista you don't even have Telnet, so that's a big problem. For you Linux guys, it uses Xterm, which is pretty decent. So what we want to do is if you're going to be using GNS3 in Windows, uh, PuTTY is a much more preferable program. It's free and it has a lot more features. So what we're going to do is uh, we've got GNS3 open. And uh, first, obviously, you probably want to get PuTTY. So we're going to open up a web browser. And my wonderful default home page here. Simply go to Google and search for PuTTY, P-U-T-T-Y. PuTTY comes up, it's going to be that first link there. And click on download up at top. Scroll down, and what you want is you want to get the exe, putty.exe version. I'm going to right click, save link as, Here's what you want to do, make it easier on yourself. You want to save it in your C drive. So you go to My Computer, C drive, and just save it in there. I've already saved it in there, but no harm in uh, overwriting it. All right, so PuTTY is in your C drive. I'm going to close out of there, go back to our GNS3. Now what you have to do is you have to set GNS3 to use PuTTY as your terminal program. So what you do is you go to Edit, Preferences. And in the general settings, you'll see Terminal Program. And I already have the settings typed in here, but this is what you're going to put in there. C colon slash putty.exe space dash telnet space percentage sign H space percentage sign P. What it's doing is it's GNS3 is going to interpret any command that opens up telnet and it will open up PuTTY instead, and it's going to open up a host IP and also a host port. So it's going to translate all that information for you, and let's see if it works. We're going to start up, uh, we popped in one router. We're going to click play on GNS3, and then we're going to open up our console window, the one icon to the left of it, and there we go, we're running PuTTY. All right, so this was a quick and easy way of configuring and installing PuTTY for GNS3. In our next video, I'll show you exactly what you can do with PuTTY, including copying, pasting, and uh, changing some of the options within PuTTY. Thanks a lot.